Hey Vibe Makers, it's Lila with LP Novelties and today's going to be a little bit of a fun video, a little bit more casual and just you guys hanging out with me in my workspace as I get myself set, set up for 2020 um, and also just getting my workspace organized and going through my planners and making sure everything's set. Um, like I mentioned before in previous videos, it's really good to pre-plan as much as you can. So I figured I'd show you guys how I like to pre-plan and try to set up as much as I can in regards to organization and just knowing honestly what is my game plan for 2020 in regards to planning. I know you guys get to see how I actually insert extras into my planner, how I franken plan and everything that I've been posting up in regards to 2020 goals and stuff. But I want to actually show you more behind the scenes of once I get done filming, showing you how I'm actually organizing everything so I can work in my workspace really well because I think it's really important and vital to have an organized workspace as much as you can. doesn't mean you can't have a mess because on this side I have piles and stuff. Um, but in regards to just having places for um, planners, just having things designated and having a place um, to just place planners, markers, um, filler sheets that you'll be using, knowing that the things that you're going to carry on into 2020 to help you plan a happy life are easily accessible to you. So I'm gonna be showing you kind of what I do just to get myself ready again for 2020. So come on guys, let's have fun and play in my workspace. Okay, so I brought you in a little bit closer. One thing I recommend for anybody that is starting out, if this is your first time using a happy planner and you're watching all of us showing all this really cool content, don't get overwhelmed. Start out small, start out simple. I know you've heard some of us say to start simple and small and then build from there. Um, one thing that I did when I started is I bought all the washi tape and um, then I realized I didn't need all the washi tape. So I downgraded because before I had three containers of washi tape. Um, luckily I had no lot of planner babes, so I've donated to them and they are really using it and you know having fun with it. So when you are starting out, um, really concentrate on what it is that you want to get out of planning and then think about like the decorative aspects i know i'm a sucker for stickers and washi tape and anything cute uh, but this is just me giving you advice of what i feel um i learned through the year of my first year of using the happy planner so definitely hold off on the washi tape just give it a minute doesn't mean you can't have you know washi tape i have my container here with all the washi tape that I like to use and that I know I will actually put to use and I also have um, this top container is all my little sticker rolls from the happy planner but I've shown you guys this in my sticker and um, workspace organization video what I want to actually focus on in this video is just showing you what I think is a really great way to get you being successful in regards to planning for 2020, especially if you're starting out, I think really concentrating on what it is you want to get out of planning. And if you are someone like me that has been planning for a while, then these are just some fun tips that I would recommend, um, especially for those of us that have been planning for a while and we love our stickers and we have big collections, um, really focusing on setting a space designated for items that you will be needing in regards to planning every day for your 2020 planners. And I, when I say planners in plural, it's cause some of us <laughs> do love to have several planners designated for different aspects in our life. So um, I love to have planners for social media, everyday budgeting and wellness. And uh, am I missing any? Oh, now I have a social, the social media planner. I have also branched out and made a YouTube planner for YouTube videos. So I think the Happy Planner is really great in helping you grow more in regards to your personal life. Um, just because you see someone have several planners does not mean that you have to have several planners. Maybe you just use two, one for home life, one for personal life or work life. Um, if you're a student, you use one for maybe each class or, um, and I'm, re I'm talking in regards to like happy notes, not just planners. But I think once you get yourself really situated and figure out what it is you want, it becomes a little bit easier. So for my newbies, don't get stressed out. You will get you know figured out with what it is you want to do in regards to planning. And for those of you that have been planning, um, it's just a matter of really narrowing it down to what we have enjoyed doing in the past year or several years of planning. So what I designated in, and I've done this in this year, is I have a bin back here and it has all the planners that I use in the year. And when I mean planners, 
these are our planners and then from here I pull out each month for my Franken planner because I have a lot of you guys ask questions in regards to Frank planning. So these are several planners that I use and then I pull out whatever month I'm on, I pull out that month and put it inside my Franken planner so I don't have to carry all these planners around with me. It's just easy to have one main hub which is your Franken planner. So when 2020 comes, these planners will go into storage. I have this drawer right here ready and set. I've cleared it out. So that's one thing I also recommend. Um, before you enter into 2020, especially with all the new products we're getting, I would recommend going through your workspace and seeing items. Am I still using this? Is this something I'm going to plan into carrying into 2020? There's nothing wrong with decluttering and really narrowing down what it is you truly have been enjoying using from the Happy Planner or do you feel like you're going to continue to use it? If not, you can donate it, sell it, um, gift it to someone. Um, that's something that I definitely recommend because then I feel like if you don't do that, you start to get a lot of stuff and it gets a little overwhelming. I do this with my closet. I do this with my home. I go through the um, the closet every six months, especially after the season ends. I go through it and I see, did I use this? Have I you know, really enjoyed using it? Is it something I'm going to want to carry into the next season? Is it damaged? You know, you really go in and break it down and realize, is this something I want to carry into 2020 or not? So this is also a video to show you kind of how I do things. All right, so let me just sit down really comfortable and show you my bin that will be for my 2020 planners. And this one right here, this clear container, is all the planners that I intend to use for 2020. And also I have my um, social media, or excuse me, my YouTube planner over here because I'm using it for YouTube videos right now. But I have this designated for my 20 planners. 2020 planners. It's really great to have a bin designated for the planners that you are using for 2020, just designated for just the planners you're using, and then use other bins to store happy notes, any other happy planner products. Use other bins, but just use one specifically for your planner so it's easy for you to find them and easy for you to reach for them. Now these planners in here are actually Franken plan planners. And um, so that's why I have them in here. And I will be transferring over this bin that, like I mentioned back here, has my, my whole big bulk of planners. These planners will go inside and then I have stored in here all my planners. For example, this is my Stargazer monthly, one, monthly checkout that will be for my uh, filming and photo editing schedule planner. And I always make sure I put little note cards. So that's another tip I recommend if you don't remember what planner is designated for what. You use one of the Happy Planner note cards that are already pre-punched and you fill out what this planner is intended for. So that way you know what it is. And um, I have them all stored in here. So once January hits, January 1st, I will switch those planners up to this top bin. And so whenever I need to reach uh, 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 inside here and grab a month, I can just grab that planner, um, pull out example January, and then I would put that in my Franken planner. But January is already set in here. Um, so I would say February. So you would go in there, get February, pull that out, put it in here, and then take out January from here and put it into your planners. So that's how Franken planning works. Um, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> it's basically you have your main hub planner that holds five different types of planners or however you want. It could be two. And then once that month is over, you pull out the old month, you put it back in its original planner, and then you remove the new month and put it into your Franken planner. So it's easy for you to carry just one item instead of carrying five planners with you at all times. Um, so that's what I love. So again, I'm going to have this bin back here for my new planners that will be carried into 2020. And this bin has all my Franken planners, which is basically my main um, hub items that will be keeping me on track and this is located down here in my workspace so I have sp spaces already situated for 2020 I started doing that earlier this month and now I have it all ready for me to go so definitely if you have an extra hour or two sit down in your workspace start getting organized because I know right now we're seeing a lot of like what can you add into your planner what can we do to switch it little extras but I think your workspace is one thing you really have to concentrate on as well as making it a space where it's easy for you to come and sit down, pull out your planner, plan real quick and have everything accessible to you. And maybe you don't even have a workspace. Maybe you have like just your dining table, but you have a planner cart. Organize your planner cart where it has, you know, your bins with the Franken planners and then your bin with your planners that you're going to be carrying into 2020. 
Um, so I have, I'm going to just go through real quick. So I have videos up there in case you haven't seen those. I have my skinny mini, which will be my language planner. I'm planning and learning some French next year. So wish me luck. And then for on the go, I'm going to put this down. Um, since I'm in, uh, the squad, they do send me, um, products to review and stuff. So I have several options. So I got sent, um, the skinny classic planner for 2020 and also a mini um, planner which was from the planner babe line and I love both so I decided to create two Franken planners for both I have a skinny classic option and a mini one for on the go and I want to alternate between both of them and I set them both exactly the same with um, notes and social media and also, um, it also envelopes in them so they have their envelopes back here for me to put coupons because I love to carry coupons with me um, I do my grocery list and everything on here so these are going to be my on-the-go planners. So I have them ready to go for me, um, waiting for 2020 to come around. Then I have, of course, my Franken planner. Like I've shown you guys, there is a video up on this, and it shows you all the details in here. And I'm going to be showing you in a bit what I'm going to be doing to also pre-plan and get myself ready for 2020 with my Franken planner. Um, I also have a disc, or excuse me, a book-bound planner here, and I love this one. Um, this one is the Pastel Dreams book bound planner and I'm going to be using this for gratitude journaling so this is ready for me to plan out I also have a happy notes set up for me I always like to have a happy notes um, together and I love the planner babe one and this one actually has a cover of planner babe on it so this is going to be because I just love this that that was beautiful I really love the soft, soft colors so this is my planner babe happy notes and finally I have my twin loop planner and this will be for my vibe maker bucket list um i already posted up the video for this but this is going to be intended for my vibe maker bucket list so this is more a project planner for me that i'm going to have fun with and sometimes your planners don't necessarily have to be you know used for things that you're planning in life it could just be something that you want to do creatively um and so that's what this is going to be intended this is more of a creative planner for me and i'm really excited about that um and then i also like i mentioned i have my youtube planner right here and I have a reading planner, which I actually have on my bedside with my book because I've been reading every day and I really enjoy that. So that one I keep nearby in my bed because that's where I like to read. So this is basically my 2020 Franken planner set up and I have that ready to go down here. And now I'm going to show you some other items I definitely recommend you guys having to keep you organized and situated in regards to keeping 2020bomb.com. Okay, so... Speaking of containers and storage um, pieces, I really love this um, container piece. And this was sent to me by um, Casey from uh, Fly by the Seat of Your Plants. She sent me one and that I ended up purchasing another because I have a lot of filler sheets. These are at Michael's and they are intended to hold um, like large photos, but you, the uh, classic size filler sheets fit in here perfectly fine. And I go into detail in this in my um, workspace organization video. I have it on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. What I'm going to do is use my label maker, and I love my Dymo label maker. I purchased this at Target, and anything and everything that I can label, I do. I think it's really great to have a labeling system, um, just so you know where everything goes. I think... For sure, if you label, then you know, okay, this is intended for my line paper. So you know to put it back in there if you're using it. If everything has a space and place, it's so easy to plan. So you just sit down, pull out your stuff, and when you're done, you put it back in its original place instead of trying to like figure out where to stuff it. So I think that's why I love organization is because it makes it easy for cleanup and finding things. It's just having everything labeled and having a place for it. So what I'm planning on doing to help me out for 2020 is I have moved some of these back and I left this front one because I want it to be the front feature. I left this front one open and I'm going to label it 2020 filler sheets. And it's going to be um, a mix of filler sheets that I want to use to implement into my actual Franken planner. So I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. I have it right here. So these sheets I received from um, the Happy Planner and these are the wellness mood tracking sheets and I love these. And in my wellness planner setup, I showed you how I inserted this into my planner. So let me just flip through it. It's already ready to go for the first week. So I want to have these easily accessible. So when I'm going into February and those, the next uh, following months, I can have a place where I could immediately know where it's at. So I'm going to label this right here, 2020 filler sheets. And this is going to be one of the items I'm going to put in here. 
and then I will have um, space available if there's any other filler sheets that I'm going to be implemented into my um, Franken planner, I could have it here and it's just easy for me to find. So that's what I mean is having places for you to find things easily instead of you trying to dig through all boxes and baskets to find the filler sheets that are supposed to be free wellness. Especially um, once the new year starts, new things start happening, work gets you know, picks up and life just happens. And sometimes we don't have that much time to plan. So if you can at least try to have stuff organized and ready for you, it's so much easier and it will make your life easy. I'm telling you from experience, once I actually started to organize here, it just was so much fun. And I like to sit here and plan and organ and just do everything in regards to um, my Elby Novelty stuff and social media and whatever. So I like that. So that is one thing I definitely recommend. So I'm going to work on my label and then I'll show you what it looks okay, like. So I went ahead already and um, printed out the label and it just says 2020 filler sheets. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to just label these little um, dividers. And these dividers you can pull out and arrange in your um, organizer. All right. Let me just place this right here. Make sure it's straight. Right. So there you go. It has, oh, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. It has your 2020 filler sheets labeled. And then, like I said, you could just pull this out and they have little slots inside this box. And then it's set and ready for me with the 2020 filler sheets. And then my filler sheets will be right there. Easy for me to see. And it's the first um, shell or excuse me, divider. So I can just pull from that and then I'll have my extra filler sheet in the back. So that's ready for me. And I'm going to show you um, one more little tip in regards to filler sheets that helps to have everything ready for 2020. All right. So you guys have your game plan. You're all set. You've shown us on Instagram, like, okay, I'm going to be using this for this. And normally like when I film videos, I show you one sheet and then I come back later and add the sheets into my actual planner. Now I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about. So for wellness, you saw I did my video and I showed you how I have the first week of January set up. And I already have my filler sheet ready to go in here, filled out like so. But for the next week of January, I don't have anything filled out. I don't have it all set up. So this is a way you can pre-plan if you have time right now to pre-plan and get as much, you know, ready as much as you can ready for 2020. Do it. Even if it's an extra 10 minutes, dedicate some time. And that way it won't be so stressful trying to follow through with the goals you set in mind, because this is a goal I set in mind. This is something that I want to be making sure I'm doing weekly. And that's why I want to make sure that I have a pre plan game plan ready for me. So what I'm going to do is for each of the weeks, I'm going to go ahead already and start inserting a filler sheet for January. So this helps because the sheets will be already inside my Franken planner month that I'm using, which will be January and it's ready for me. And I don't have to sit here and spend time getting the sheets out of the container and then um, filling this out. And it also reminds you, Hey, I need to do my daily check-in. I can't forget. This is something that's important to me. So this is a way you can pre-plan and get everything. Um, so all I'm doing is just inserting my filler sheets in each week because I want one of these check-ins in each week. So it's good to just pre-plan as much as you can and get yourself situated and ready to have a successful wellness journey, a successful fitness journey, budgeting, whatever it is that you're working on that you want to really concentrate on in 2020. It's vital that you start now to prepare for those goals. Um, you know, I think it's really important to prepare as much as you can and try to dedicate a little bit of time. If you feel like, Hey, I got an extra 10 minutes. You know what? Let me just set up my month for next for next month. Um, if you feel like life's hectic and crazy and you're like, I don't have time to do this. Maybe you set up February and January and there's nothing wrong with that. You can easily just, you know, get it all set up and ready for you. So that way, when you go to pull out February, you just pull it out and it's ready for you to start planning. So that's another little tip I recommend. Um, so uh, my goal is going to be to have all of January set up with the stickers and everything. Um, like I have the first week ready for me to go because I have it all filled out. So I want to get my whole month of January filled and that way I just have to check off and fill in the information when January comes um, because it's a busy work week and month for me. So I just want to make sure I'm ready and set and everything is good for me. So I am successful in that. And I think that's the most important part is not just buying all these items and 
I love them, they're beautiful, but actually putting them into use, putting it into action, and um, that is one way that I think will really help is to pre-plan as much as you can. So now that I have set up these filler sheets in January, I could put it back in this container, like I said, and then um, if I have time later on this month or maybe in the beginning of January, I will set up February. And that way at least I have two months set to go and uh, I don't have to be stressed out about, you know, filling it out and putting the stickers and labeling everything and it's just ready for me. So that's one thing I recommend. Pre-plan as much as you can. And I mean actually put in the filler sheets or whatever your half sheets or sticky notes or whatever it is that you use to plan throughout the, the week and the month. Try to put those in um, now so they're ready for you to go in January and you're set and ready to have a successful 2020. All right, so next step I'm gonna do, and I'm just showing you guys everything I'm doing because I think it helps when you're actually seeing us planners, what we actually do to prepare and get ourselves situated, especially with the new year. Um, I think we set up a lot of goals and we have our vision boards and our dreams. And um, I think that's really important to see what people visualize. But I wanna show you how I actually prepare myself and how I actually take all the steps to um, make those visions and dreams become a reality and i'm a big big firm believer in positive affirmations and visualization and um just working on that but i'm going to show you also what i'm going to be doing um and again i'm not filming this like how i normally film on top i just wanted to make it very casual and talk with you guys and just like i'm talking with my vibe makers um i think it's really easy to just show you guys what i'm doing so right here i have my skinny classic franken planner that i created i have a video up if you want to see how i put it together but i have it all situated and ready for me and in the back there's a note section and it's just half sheet lined paper what i'm going to show you i'm going to be doing so i know to get this situated um we're all about making lists and i think it's really important to make list of how you want to transition your workspace and get yourself ready for a 2020 um planning world i guess you could say <laughs> but um one thing I want to make sure I keep track of is change out my desk calendar. I currently have the Amy Tangerine desk calendar and that's just up above my, my bookcase. So I want to change it out because again, I was given some new desk calendars from the Happy Planner. So I'll just show you which ones I have. And I love all three. So I might be alternating every couple months between these, but they're just so beautiful. So I have the Wrong Wrong desk calendar, Planner Babe, planner babes rule desk calendar so it's a planner babe line and then i got the encourager um desk calendar when i was at boot camp i got the encourager line and all of them are so beautiful so it's going to be hard for me to decide which one i want to start january with um but i think you know it's fun to have options i'm really truly grateful that i have these options but if you have just one desk calendar write down change desk calendar um so the one I have, again, is like the Amy Tangerine one, and I believe it goes into next June, but I want to switch it out because I have these ones that start in January, and I want to start displaying these as well. So I'm going to put Change Out Desk Calendar as my option. And then my next thing that I want to make sure is that all my planners are Change Out. And when I say that, like uh, Store, so I'm just going to pull a bullet point, um, Store old planners and or and then bring out new ones or bring out 2020 planners all right so that way i know okay i need to switch this out and then i need to bring out my desk calendar and then um another thing i want to make sure and i'm just trying to think like what it is that i want to actually have ready for me in 2020 so i'm set and ready to go to make it successful I for sure need to, uh, or I need to switch out my Franken planner, my original. So my Franken planner that I've been using, I have it right here. Let me just grab it. it has stuff on it. So this is my Franken planner that I've been using. And this will go into storage, which is my door right here. So switch out Franken planners. So those are ready to go as well. Because I'm not only going to bring out the um, original planners that I'm going to be pulling months out, but I'm also going to switch out my Franken planner so that's ready to go. Um, one th good thing that I started early and I didn't wait till 2020 was my reading planner. So this is ready for me to go. I'm currently reading this book, Super Attractor. I love this book. And I have been using my reading planner and this stays um, on my bedside, but I brought it here for you guys to see. But I love that. It's been helping me out a lot. And then um, another thing that I will 
be working on is my reading list you guys saw in my digital detox notebook that I made the video um, I will be showing you how I am going to be um, trying to read as many books as I can so I want to make sure that I have those books set up in my library I just have a little bookcase library um, in my living room and I want to have those books ready for me so when it's time to start checking them off I know I have them ready and set for me you can also do audible there's an audible app or you could do the kindle so there's a lot of options in regards to reading but there's something about just holding the book and reading it that I love and it, it also just is nice not to have to be staring at a screen all the time since I already do a lot of screen time so technically that's kind of digital detox for me because I'm like using a real book for that <laughs> so I want to make sure I have my digital detox um, notebook ready and uh, library set up at least with some of the books I want to start reading and then I could purchase more down the road or rent it or go to the um, library if need be so one more thing that I recommend to get you set up and ready and organized is if there are specific sticker books that you feel um, you will be using a lot in regards to planning. For example, I use the journaling stickers books so much because it has like the boxes and the icons and I love that one. Um, but if you use colorful boxes a lot, if you use um, productivity, any of the sticker books that you feel will be your main five sticker books or whichever, uh, however many you use, I definitely recommend having maybe one bin designated for the ones that you use a lot or keeping those towards the front. That helps out as well. I just have mine separated in categories and it just helps me, but I really do use the rainbow sticker book, mega sticker book a lot um, just because of the amazing colorful boxes and it just has so many options and I love it. It's one of my favorite ones that I currently use. So as you can see, there's missing stickers and this is the one I keep closest to me because when I sit here, I just reach for that and that's easy for me. I also have colorful boxes right here in that section. Then towards the back here, I'm not kidding, I literally have 14 <laughs> journaling sticker books, but I use them a lot because I got them on sale. They were like on sale for $7 on michaels.com and I use them for my drawings um, for my social media. So that's the reason why I purchased them. But I also have been using a lot of the stickers in there um, for my video planner and also for my wellness. So that's what I love is the, the icons, the boxes. It really does have great options. So definitely work on your sticker organization and figuring out which stickers you use the most in regards to helping you be productive in your planner. Not necessarily decorative, but the ones that have the icons, the boxes, um, if they have the hourlies broken down, the checklist. I love checklists. I love boxes. Like I love putting those in my planner. So those are the ones you want to have closest to you. So that way it's easy for you to reach if you don't have time to actually sit here and decorate keep those ones close by to you and then you could put maybe different bins for decorative stickers so that's something definitely I'm gonna um, work on is reorganizing sticker cart it's pretty organized but I'll just give it a quick you know review and make sure everything's ready for me for 2020 and then one thing I'm going to show you guys and I want to have for me especially like now that I'm try um, like planning on the go a lot more now is I want to set up a actual pouch with items that I want to have always on the go and I could just throw my purse or if this actually clips into your planner purse if you're carrying your mini planner I showed this in my Instagram stories but if you have the mini purse from the um, the happy planner the planner purse um, you could click this into your actual mini planner and it fits inside your planner purse so you can have you know lipstick gum whatever it is that you like to carry in your purse normally this is a great option but I'm going to designate this to be my one to hold all my mild liners and markers and um, maybe a roll or two of washi tape so I could have this with me on the go if I want to plan on the go so I want to also get this ready for me so I'm going to just put that here as well pouch for trap for um, on the go so I have my list ready for me and I can um, definitely make sure I have this all situated when 2020 starts. And one thing that you actually um, should know is our planners don't start on the first. They actually are going to be starting on December 30th. So that's a great thing. It's like we're kind of already going to start the year off early and ready to go for December 30th because our weeks of January start on December 30th so this one starts in December I just love planner babe I'm so excited to start planning this is gonna be my everyday planner so December 30th we get to start so that's when I'm gonna make sure that I have um, on the night of December 29th I switch out my planner and um, that way it's ready to go and just 
we're going to be set for 2020. So by makers, I'm super excited about that and um, just having everything organized and ready. So I'm going to show you uh, just a couple more things of how I somewhat keep everything organized here. And um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video and uh, just seeing how I try to keep myself organized and set up for 2020. Um, you've probably seen this, but I'm just showing you kind of how it's set up right now. I have this in my workspace organization video, but right now it's currently set up in holiday vibes and the, this, I'm gonna have to bring down all this stuff. It's just a, like a little bit of decoration and I like to just make my workspace go with, along with the theme. Um, and then I love this trash bin I got sent from the Lots of Style shop and it really is great to have on your desktop. It's all my little washi tape scraps and stickers in there. Um, here's the reading planner and book that I'm currently reading, but that stays on my bedside. Why out? And then I love this container. This is really great to have to hold pens, markers. So definitely have your writing instruments close by and in an organized matter so that way you can find them. There's Stanley. He's um, just a little wood um, posable model thing that I purchased at Ikea. And then I love that little panda because it reminds me of Chance. Chance loves pandas. Now for here, what I'll be switching out and see, I brought it down to one um, washi tape organizer. I used to have three of these. So if you're a newbie, don't get crazy. Just buy a couple and see if you like them, if you're going to use them, which I do love washi, but I'm switching over now to thin washi tape. I really love that. And then these are just the sticker rolls from the Happy Planner. And then this bin is going to get switched out. So all of these planners are going to go into storage. And I already went ahead and emptied out, not emptied out, but um, decluttered and organized my drawer. And I showed you guys in my working, or excuse me, workspace organization video, how I have this all stored. But these are my markers, my mini planners, hole puncher. And then these are all the planners that are going to be going up here because these are the ones for 2020 and then these are just extra happy notes and planners and this is my budget planner from this year so this will just stay here as well as my this is my scheduling planner so this will stay here inside for storage i went ahead and decluttered a bit and went through items that i felt like okay i'm not really going to use this so let me give it to some planner babe that will definitely use it and put it to use since now i'm going to be using a book bound gratitude journal the guided journals that i had the happy notes because i got sent three um i sent some portions of that to planner babe and she was super happy and excited about it and now i will like i said bring these down these will go up and that's ready for me so i have that set up that's just my beautiful squad bag that i got sent um or not sent i was given at boot camp and i really love this one and I have stuff in there because I like to pull this out when, I, especially on like lifestyle shoots, I just put all my stuff in there, all my planners, pull this out, and it really holds a lot. Here's this beautiful box that I got sent from the Happy Planner. I just love to have this here just to just have it on display. It's so pretty with my workspace area. But that's pretty much how I have it set up. Oh, and then um, this is where I'm talking about. I'm going to switch out this desk calendar, and then I'm going to put him away. Isn't he so cute? So um, this is just how I have it set up, and. Um, I think it's easy to have everything have a place and location to be successful in regards to planning. So I have my planner cart here because I'm filming after this, like I'm filming right now, but I'm also filming after this, a actual video like here with my box and everything. But I have my markers and then these bins, I'm gonna go through them as well. So I'm gonna put down the list to clear out these bins and see what I'm not using, what I am using and make sure I'm not getting too cluttered in here. I just like stuff a little bit more organized. So now I'm just gonna slide in my planner bin and that is my bin for all my franken planner and planners that i'll be using for 2020 and this just stays here because this is my diy sticker organizers i made when i first started planning and i just love to have those here um, to reach for because i like to just sit here and plan on the floor okay vibe makers i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's very casual very light just you sitting here talking with me but i kind of want to start making more videos where it's just more personal and like i'm bringing you along for my fun journeys here at lb novelties and just show you how I like to set up things and how I like to stay organized. I'm big in organization. I really love to have a place for everything. It just makes me feel a little bit more relaxed. And when I come to plan, I actually enjoy it instead of being stressed out because I can't find a specific marker or filler sheet or whatever it may be that I'm looking for that day. Um, I like that everything has a place. Doesn't mean that like, I don't throw you know stuff on the floor. I like to plan and just throw everything on the floor, but then I know where everything goes back. So that's um, the main reason I wanted to film this as well, is to show you that you can have fun planning and to set up as much as you can right now if you have time, pre-plan as much as you can. So that way you are set and ready for 2020. 
and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button if you like videos like this a little bit more casual and just like me talking to you guys i'd definitely like to hear if this is more of the type of videos you like to see i will still start i will still keep filming videos where it's like showing you planner stuff and my normal like light up setup but i just wanted to keep it really relaxed and casual today um, hopefully you guys have some really great visions and goals and dreams set up for 2020. I know you guys can make it happen. Um, like I said, I'm always here cheering you guys on. So don't let anything hold you back. Set up as much as you can to be ready to accomplish whatever it is you put in your mind. It's not only visualizing it, but actually putting it into action and preparing yourself for it. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to let you know when I've posted up a new video because I will be posting up videos uh, moving forward. I really am focused in 2020 to put up more fun videos here on my channel. So definitely throw um, any ideas or videos you'd like to see in the comment section. I always like to hear feedback from you guys. And as always, 